Some Notes on the Paintings of Francis Bacon by Les Arnold, read by Stan Dragland. Man in Blue, 5, 1954. These notes begin with a painting by Francis Bacon of a man sitting at a table. He is wearing a dark suit and has a drink in his smudged hand. His face was once painted but has been defaced. One eye remains. The wallpaper moves behind him like a horizontal staircase, too. A woman who does not appear in the painting comes into these notes. He probably has not been waiting for her, and this probably does not happen. The notes are taken from their conversation, which is not reported in full. This all happened in 1954. 1. The Unfortunate Accident This man has been waiting... He has been sitting at a table in a bar, waiting. Perhaps someone a little drunk brushed by and rubbed her forearm across his face, erasing it. The wet paint has since dried into this waiting. 2. The Poetry Reading They seem to be searching the roots of words. Nonsense, they're drunk, feeling stem and flower, her hand inside his flies. 3. Premiere at the Roxy He shot their first meeting through gauze. He thought she was Doris Day, she thought. They laved and linseeded, they tinctured themselves with pleasure bottles. Oiled, they kept slipping through one another's fingers. 4. It was touch and go. This must be the real thing. His cock grows three inches a minute. She foams in her beer head. They are nerve and gland suction touch people, which is just as well. The barman perhaps reaches over to erase his unnecessary face. 5. The Canvas Bag Relax. It's a one-way mirror. They can't see you and you can't see. 6. The Renaissance Man. Intact, he must be a precise and fussy little man. You would see his office wall paper color of his eyes coat the inside of his open, screaming mouth. Unpainted patches of canvas show up underneath his face in at least one place. 7. Touch Up. This shits on my arms and hands, all over my face, can't see my eyes, it's into my shirt, skin, this shits everywhere, it's taste and touch, like running the paint booth at Fat Ollie's Body Shop. 8. The Mysteries of the Tube Later they made love in a motel, where else? And were satisfied later, he painted her acrylics, shooting from tubes canvas red with his mouth moving over her stilled wet flesh hair. 9. The Decent Thing to Do He can be taken anywhere in decent company. Don't stare. He's not a goddamn cripple, just because he's only got one eye, and somebody rubbed out most of his face. He can't help a birth defect. He didn't ask to be brought into this world. He can't get out. His parents have a lot to answer for. 10. 